All right, welcome back. We are here at Sweet Basil. And we've been trying to do this place for months because Saya told us about the famous stuffed chicken wings over here. And we, you can't really find this anywhere other than Sweet Basil. As mm -hmm. far as I can, I'm uh, concerned. Yeah, as far as I know. Yeah, as far as I know, that's the only place that we have it. Um, now, Sweet Basil, they've got l really good food over here. But after the pandemic, you really have to go check out the dining in portion. Yeah, of it. the tables, you saw the table. The table, right? the decor, everything is like really nice in there. And mm -hmm. I think there's that element of that environment that you're missing when you do the takeouts for, mm -hmm. for uh, Sweet Basil. It's, it's good to help support them. But when the pandemic's all over, you gotta go eat it at, over there because yeah. they've got all the nice little specific tables and like mm -hmm. chairs and. Uh, and just the whole ambiance of the place is amazing. Yeah, it's like you experience like Thai culture just from being inside. You see a lot of the, the statues, the little yep. statues that they have, the, the marble ones, or um, just the decor and everything. You just feel very like homey. Yeah, mm -hmm. we're just uh, thankful that they allowed us to come in. They're not normally open on Sunday. Mm -hmm. uh, they're usually open from Monday through Saturday, yep. I believe. Yeah, and they were like nice enough to even cook for us on Sunday and mm -hmm. even to give us so much stuff here. Right, so we'll start off with the soups. Tom Yang Gung. <laughs> this is the, with the shrimp, and you can see that the shrimp is butterflied, which is important. The poop shoot is yeah. not there. <laughs> yeah. So that's a good thing. Let's try it, guys. Ooh, that's Ooh. nice. Mmm. You wouldn't expect it to be spicy because mm -hmm. it's a clear mm -hmm. broth, but this actually reminds me of um, a Cambodian like soup broth that my mom makes. Yeah. But it's just with chicken. Well, I really like this. It's like a very familiar taste to me. Mm -hmm. It's like spicy, but there's almost like a slight vinegary-ish mm -hmm. flavor mm. to it. Or tartness rather. Oh yeah, I taste that. Yeah. What are you talking about? It's really good. Mm -hmm. And it seems light. Mm -hmm. It's yeah. not too heavy. Very light actually. Mm -hmm. That vinegary spiciness is so good though. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I didn't yeah. think that anything had this kind of flavor. Mm. That, that was a good. great start. Yeah. Wow. Awesome. So far, awesome. <laughs> Next up. Oh, so look at this. You have to mix it. Yeah. You have to mix it, eh? Yeah. Oh, cheers, Tad. Cheers. Milky, in a way. Yeah. Coconut milk. Oh, yeah, coconut milk. I think this one, I need it warm. Yeah. I'm not getting the... It's pretty warm. I like the one without the coconut milk better because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. you taste more of the, like the flavor of the soup mm -hmm. without the addition of the coconut milk. It's still good, mm -hmm. but... It's a totally different profile. Yeah. Still good, but would highly recommend make sure you have this. Obviously, you'll have it warm. Okay, they have totally different flavors to them, Yeah. but I think that would match with certain types of food later on, and that would match with certain types of food mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. for other things. So I think you would have to order them accordingly to the main and uh, appetizers that you're gonna be having. Yeah, let's try the wings. That's the, the next wings. appetizer. Now, these wings are quite special because what the process- stuffed, sorry. <laughs> the process that they have to, to do to stuff this thing is quite hard. It's yeah. quite difficult because they have to take out the bones without ripping it apart and then stuffing it and then yeah. steaming it and then frying it afterwards. Yeah. So that's a lot of work for yeah, somebody like to do. keeping the skin intact so that you could just put the meat back in later on with all the uh, seasoning mm -hmm. and everything else. And look so, how big it is. Sorry, yeah. sorry. Oh, and then this is the sauce part? So that's the uh, soy type, that's the soy type sauce, yeah. I believe. And then we could also use the hot sauce. Well, I put that hot sauce, it's, it's good with grilled meat. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it's nice to have it with that as well. Okay. Well, so that's like a, kind of like a hot sauce vinaigrette. Um, you can buy those separately actually from the oh. restaurant as well. Flavor Fishy too. aroma and yeah. flavor to it, but um, that's how Southeast Asian cooking is. Always best with grilled meat to use mm -hmm. the sauce. It smells so good. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers guys. Oh wow, there's really no bone in here. Mm. Like, oh. Sorry. Whoa. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So there's glass noodles on the inside. Mm-hmm. Carrots, um, of course, seasoning like the stuffing, but it's also just like the shredded chicken meat back inside. That's how it's done. I would assume it's the same way they do it, of course. Like why with yeah. chicken? It's almost like a chicken meatball. 
it almost seems like it's all stuffing and then just the chicken, uh, chicken skin, skin around yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. And you don't wouldn't expect this type yeah, of I'm flavor. Yeah, like, how did you even do this? Right. It's weird because you expect bones to be in it. It's like, oh, it looks like a chicken. What? What? <laughs> yeah, it looks like a chicken, but no. <laughs> But yes, <laughs> from eating this, I can tell there's a lot of work done to get this. Mm -hmm. And I don't think a lot of people can just do this at home. No. Without doing a lot of work. Really. Yeah, like one person dedicated just to making these. Mm -hmm. So they added a curry sauce to that and we just like dip it in there. Mm -hmm. You said a curry peanut sauce? Curry, curry peanut. Yeah. peanut. Cheers. Yeah. Mm. That's sweet. I like that. It's okay for me. <laughs> it's always with the sweet things. Yeah. yeah. I'm a fan. Because mm. the, the grilled chicken itself is curry. Yeah. Like it's just a rub. Mm -hmm. And then you got the uh, combination of the uh, peanut curry for the sauce. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it is sweet. Mm -hmm. yeah. If you guys can handle heat, I would recommend this hot sauce. Mm -hmm. That hot sauce goes with everything. Yeah. I'm putting it on the chicken now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's chicken pretty good now. Rice, yeah. I changed my opinion. When you put the hot sauce in it, it's good. <laughs> I was going to say, like, this hot sauce is... It's one of those hot sauces where it almost elevates the flavor of yeah, yeah. whatever you eat. Yeah, absolutely. Cheers, guys. Cheers. I like this beef a little more than the chicken for some reason. I don't know what it is. Because I thought it was going to be, like, tougher than this. Mm hmm it shouldn't be. No, I was thinking like those shawarma. Oh, like that oh, kind of beef things. That's yeah, why I was like thinking. Like crispy on the outside. Yeah, kind of. I thought that was what it was going to be like. No, they're about even. Yeah, I don't know which one I like more. Mm -hmm. But I think the way that I order, I usually gravitate for like skewers. Mm -hmm. I usually gravitate more towards chicken. Yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah I think that's natural for most people. Yeah. You just think of like, oh, chicken skewers. Yeah. So they're both really good. Yeah. I think the sauce is a nice add, and like Brian said, if you want to bump it up a little bit, you can add the hot sauce to it. <laughs> I guess that's when I just feel my head just like, yeah, yeah you like are sweating. In here. Yeah. You must put a lot of hot sauce on yours. Oh, yeah. Down to the patsui. <clears throat> Cheers, everyone. Cheers. Mmm. <laughs> It does have some sweetness, but I like it though. Yeah. I, don't I was just know gonna it. say. I know, I normally don't like the sweetness, but this one's done correctly because this is a, a nice sweet and savory kind yeah. of dish. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was just gonna say, I was like, ooh, I taste some sweetness. Mm -hmm. The vegetables put a nice texture to mm -hmm. everything. Mm -hmm. And the meat just like, it per melts perfectly with this meal. You're saying everything yeah. I wanna say. Yeah, right? <laughs> Oh. Beef always works best with pad seal. Yeah. Mm. It's, like the, it's like the staple protein to have with it. Is there any other type? Oh, you could get chicken? with chicken and anything else, like chicken oh, nah. tofu or whatever. But you know, like for this dish, for some reason, like the beef, mm -hmm. most similar to what you were saying about the skewers, mm -hmm. certain dishes, it's just better to have it with that meat that it's known for. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, honestly, this doesn't even need sauce to it. No. no. It's so good by itself. Mm. You know what I mean? Really good. Mm -hmm. And it's um, it's um, it's different from what we have at um, Silver Spoon. Ours is this is more of like a dry pad soup, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. but like you you wouldn't expect it to still have. Well, of course you could still expect it to have a lot of flavor. Yeah, but it's like into the noodle. Mm -hmm. People that aren't too adventurous would love this one as well. True. Oh, yeah. yeah. And it's not too spicy. Mm -hmm. Actually, I don't think it's spicy. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. No, not spicy. Not at spicy at all. Yeah. yeah. It's like a mild dish, and yeah, like like Brian was saying, like the flavor. Profile on that dish is amazing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We're gonna do the curry one. Yay! Cheers, everybody. Cheers. This is like silver spoon all over again. Yeah. Feels like a warm blanket just come, <laughs> covered me right now. That's why I like especially these kind of curries. Because mm -hmm. I yeah. find that they're thick. Yeah. Yeah. I like how thick they are. <laughs> 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 like it drapes nicely on like a carb, like a rice, yeah. you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It just like smothers it like a gravy. Yeah. And when you have a bite, it's like, oh. Note to self, don't buy this without rice. Yeah. Or at least yeah. make some rice at home. Yeah. Yeah. Here's a question. It's actually not too bad with vermicelli as well. Oh, yeah? Really? Yeah, because it's like a noodle, right? But it's just mm. like a thick broth. Mm. Yeah. I don't think I've ever tried I'll try that. Yeah. Um, I actually really like how soft the, look how soft the carrots are. Well, that's what yeah. it was. Yeah, it's carrot. 
I was like, what is this weird potato? <laughs> it's like, that's the thing, and it's cooked down so much that it's the consistency of a potato. Yeah, yeah, you're almost just like smushing the carrot. It's yeah. not even like the crunch. And this isn't spicy. Is this spicy? No, not it's spicy no, at all. Not, just the light curry. That's the sweet basil fish. So it's a tilapia with some um, vegetable melange on top. Like a, Ooh, a salad. crunchy. Nice and crispy tilapia with some special red sauce. And Cheers. Cheers. Cheers, everyone. Cheers. Oh, it's very crunchy. Nice crunch. If we didn't have this sitting around for so long, yeah. <laughs> it'd be even more interesting. Yeah. Right? Because it was like, Perfectly fresh. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, the warmth of the fish would have added yeah. a nice touch to all the yeah, flavors. Yeah, yeah. I think that's the only thing that's holding this one back. Mm -hmm. It is a little bit sweet for me though. Yeah. I was just gonna say, I'd recommend eating this one with the rice. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. And if it's too sweet for you, just don't drizzle as much sauce on it. Mm -hmm. The Do sauce it. is the sweet part. Yeah, yeah. The, the sauce is very flavorful. Yeah. Go a smidge light on it. Have it with some rice. Mm -hmm. It's great. And it's a, a slightly spicy to it. Yeah. Slight spice to it. It's mm -hmm. not like super spicy yeah. or anything. Hardly so. And it's deboned. Good. Yeah. Amazing. <laughs> it's like lazy fish for us. <laughs> I like the texture of the like shredded. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, is that lettuce? Is that lettuce? Yeah. It makes me think of like. It would be a nice spring summer dish. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. It would definitely be like a nice patio. It would dish be a to patio order. dish. I feel like this would actually pair really nicely with some kind of beer. Singha beer. Oh yeah. If mm. you ever had it, oh, we should have got some. Beer. Never had it. Yeah. You're so right. It's, it's a very light beer. You're right beer. about that. It, it pairs so well. It's like a Thai beer, but it pairs so well with the food because it's just it's like kind of just super light. Yeah, yeah. Very light. You could even just nice to drink on your own, just on a hot day. Mm -hmm. I love it. I can see that. Mm -hmm. I think I would change my my. Uh, my opinion of this if yeah. I had the beer with it. Yeah, I think the beer would have just tied everything together, especially with a sweeter dish. The crispy duck is topped with a stir fry of vegetables. Mm -hmm. It looks kind of like not conventionally what we are used to as a yeah. duck. It's Usually we're used to seeing that crispy skin mm -hmm. and then after that little square of meat under it. Yeah, exactly. This is almost like, it almost looks like it's fish. We thought, yeah, we were thought it was sardines or something like yeah. that, but it's like... Or eggplant. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's yeah, true. Yeah, like a grilled eggplant. All right, cheers, everyone. Cheers. I'm gonna try this cheers, you There's a, like a mushroomy t flavor to this. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's part of the batter almost. You think so? Because mm -hmm. yeah. it almost tastes like a little mushroom with a bit of meat on it. I think it could be the batter. You think so, eh? Yeah. <clears throat> Don't know, but it's totally different from what I've ever had. It doesn't even taste like duck to me. Yeah. I think we just gotta get it out of our heads. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking of like Chinese grilled duck, mm -hmm. like the window duck, you know? Mm -hmm. I think for this one, you definitely need the sauce. Because mm -hmm. it's the duck is drier than what I'm accustomed to. Mm -hmm. it's not, and it's not like the duck is tough, but it feels mm -hmm. like just mm -hmm. biting into it, it's, it's more of like a sturdy meat. Mm -hmm. Not total fan of that one. <laughs> but yeah. the rest of it was really good. One dish that you like. That you have, like my, they have to have over there. That's the thing for an app and a main. App, stuffed wings. Yeah. Okay. Main, that, <laughs> that patsu and the curry. Yeah. yeah. Actually, I was going to say the same, same. thing as you. Yeah. yeah. And the soup. The soup yeah. is amazing. Mm -hmm. So that, I would say the same actually. So that's what, what are you guys? Funny. Yeah, I would say that, 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 that. <laughs> this little quadrant right corner, here. Yeah. So, same as them. I really like the curry, obviously. And I really like this as well. Mm -hmm. The soup is good. Um, so aside from that, I actually really like the fish, mm -hmm. but kind of to echo what Seha said, just have it with rice. Make yeah. sure you have it with something mm -hmm. else to cut the sauce. Um, yeah. Yeah, that was it. I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as we did, and uh, we'll see you guys in the next episode. See you, yeah. bye.